Antarctica is an exciting and extremely important place for scientific research and exploration. Despite the stark, seemingly lifeless landscape and extreme environmental conditions, Antarctica is home to an incredible abundance of life, above the ocean surface as well as below it, and even all the way down on the deep sea floor. Funded by the National Science Foundation, our team of researchers from Florida Institute of Technology, University of Alabama, Birmingham, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and University of Southampton, set off on a five-week scientific expedition aboard the 230-foot RV Lawrence M. Gould in order to study the organisms living on the Antarctic deep sea floor. After an unexpectedly calm four-day crossing of the Drake Passage from the tip of South America to the Western Antarctic Peninsula, our research vessel finally came into Antarctic waters, where we were greeted by breathtaking scenery. Making a quick stop at Palmer Station, one of the United States Antarctic Research Stations, our team had the opportunity to actually set foot on the continent of Antarctica and do a little exploring before heading offshore to study the deep sea floor organisms, particularly the population of king crabs. With climate change causing ocean temperatures to rise, there is potential for these king crabs to move into new areas of the sea floor that previously were too cold for them to inhabit. The arrival of these shell-crushing predators into new environments has the potential to greatly disrupt present ecosystem dynamics. Learning about the crabs down here is really important to us because we're interested in how the ecosystems and how the communities down here are changing. This is relevant to every other part of the world because we're seeing an acceleration of climate change down here, but climate change is happening in every part of the world. So changes that we see down here eventually we'll begin to see in other places. Over the next three weeks, our team ran 24-hour science operations in order to maximize our time and collect as much data as possible. With everyone working alternating shifts, our scientific instruments were being deployed and retrieved at all hours of the day and night, as well as in all kinds of weather conditions. Weather is extremely variable in Antarctica and it changes quickly. And even on this cruise, we've seen winds up to 60 knots. We've seen some pretty heavy seas and we've even had to duck into a bay in order to get out of those conditions. So it's tricky just sailing down here and then actually deploying any instrumentations off the back deck is that much trickier. Another thing to mention also is ice conditions. You think about the ocean being just open water, but there are ice flows, there are icebergs. The bridge has to navigate through those areas, through and around those icebergs safely. In order to best study this population of king crabs and their deep sea floor community, we first used Sea Sled, a rugged underwater camera vehicle to image the sea floor at depths between 400 and 2,000 meters. Aboard Sea Sled, in addition to cameras and strobe lights, there is also a CTD, which measures the salinity, temperature, and depth of the water. This allowed our team to know exactly what depth each image was taken at, as well as the surrounding water temperature and salinity at the exact moment each photo was taken. Red sea in the water. Right there, good job. One of our objectives on this cruise was to try and catch live crabs, so we had some specimens to give us an idea of exactly what species of crab we were looking at. Now this is difficult and has never been done before because the crabs are in such deep water. Essentially we're, we're fishing with very small crab traps in over a thousand meters of water, near a 1500 meters of water, and this has just not been done, especially from a, from a research vessel. Collecting these live king crab specimens allowed our team to gather valuable information about this population, including what their diet consists of, their genetic identity, as well as their physical characteristics like size, sex, and weight. This year we had the opportunity to both image and get some physical samples by trawling, dragging a net across the seafloor and bringing up actual physical specimens that we can then match up with the images that we're seeing. The other thing we can do with some of those trawl specimens is try and get a, a feel for what they're eating. 
and in that way we can start to put together sort of the trophic picture of who's eating what and what's eating who and understand the general ecology and community dynamics on the deep sea floor in addition to just getting a snapshot of what life looks like. Not only did our team get to lay eyes on organisms that live thousands of meters beneath the ocean surface, but we were also fortunate enough to see some of Antarctica's most iconic wildlife, like humpback whales, fur seals, and the always charismatic Adelie penguins. And although living aboard an Antarctic research vessel sometimes felt like living on another planet, there were many aspects of day-to-day -day life that felt quite normal. Our team ate three meals a day, prepared by the ship's cooks, slept in bunk beds in shared cabins, worked and collaborated in the office area, relaxed on big comfy couches in the lounge, and even exercised in the ship's gym. Conducting research in these remote locations off of the Western Antarctic Peninsula not only allowed our team to collect valuable data on the potential for these king crabs to invade new areas of the sea floor, but also to simply explore an area of the world that we, as humans, know almost nothing about. It's an exciting process because we get to see images coming up live and there's so little known about this region that every new image is new information and we're really building an a image of the sea floor that's never been seen before. So every time we come down and look, we find something new and something interesting that adds to science beyond just the king crabs and the benthos that we are looking at. Having successfully completed this Antarctic expedition, our team of researchers are now equipped with the information necessary to better understand the extent to which global climate change is affecting the ecology of the Antarctic deep sea floor community, with particular focus on the population of king crabs. The more we can understand our planet and how it's changing, the better for every organism on Earth in the present as well as in the future.